Here's another short sermon for you. Yeah. You, dude. It's not. <laughs> Welcome, short sermon homies. In this brand new series of short sermons, we are going to talk and discuss work. There is a war on work in our society, and I honestly believe that work is a blessing more than it is a curse. From a spiritual perspective and from a material perspective, the blessings we are looking for is often found in doing something. It is often found in work. The power of the Holy Spirit is found in His working in our lives. The world is so tired of hearing about Jesus. They want to and absolutely need to see Him. There is worth in talking about Jesus. After all, Psalm 145 verse 3 teaches us that He is worthy of our praise and that generation after generation we must talk about the wonderful works of God. Of course we are supposed to talk about the greatness of God. There is so much to say. However, once we start to live in the greatness of God, once we start to act out the greatness of God, our talking becomes honest. John 4 verse 24 reads that we must worship God in spirit and in truth. And in this sense, truth refers to reality. So we absolutely worship God in spirit. We sing about His greatness. We sing about His beauty. And our spirit connects in the deepest sense to His, his spirit. Deep cries out to deep. But we have to confirm this by the way we live our lives. In our actions, the word must become flesh, so to say. And we are taught in 1 John 14 verse 16 that after the word became flesh, the people saw Jesus' glory. They absolutely saw his glory. Our faith has to be confirmed by our works and actions. 1 John 4 verse 12 is a heavy verse to ponder. It reminds us that people see God and experience him in a tangible way in our love towards one another. It teaches us that God lives in our love. One translation says that God lives in our actions. God lives in our actions. We must put into action what we believe. We need to get involved in the kingdom of God. 1 John, oh, sorry, 1 Timothy 4 verse 4 to 15 warns us not to neglect our spiritual gifts and that we must give our full attention to the work of the church. With this short sermon, I would like to encourage you to get involved with the work of the kingdom. Find a spiritual outlet. Make the word that you believe become flesh. Just get involved.